Uh, one of the uniqueness in the Bangladesh genocide during the nine month long war is, is the intensity of it, um, which is, you know, we lost about three million people in a nine month long time span. But another uniqueness to this genocide, um, we learned from the history that there were a group of local people, um, mostly belonging to different Islamist parties, fundamentalist forces, we call them Jamaat Islami, Jamaat Nizamis. Those were um, back then established political parties, but they also created some kind of a militant armed forces such as Al Badr, Razakars, and these are local people. These are Bengalis for the most part, and they helped. Uh, the Pakistan army, first of all, look for the targets, find the people who to kill. In, in many cases, they actually help create, I heard that the list of intellectuals, so that Bangladesh can be quote unquote brainless after 1971. Uh, can you talk a little bit about that part of the genocide? Yes, if you uh, consider the intensity of Bangladesh genocide, definitely this genocide is the most horrendous genocide committed in the history of mankind since Second World War. Mm -hmm. As you mentioned that three million people were being killed on the, you know, on a territory comprised with 56,000, you know, square miles and the time, time was only nine months. But the 20 million people were being killed during the Second World War, but the time limit, you can see the time bar, it was a five years long war and it was expanded throughout the world. So that's why, you know, it was one of the most horrendous genocide we have seen in the history of genocide. And unfortunately, those Jamaat Islami, they were Bengalis, but they had a political view, you know, they have some ideology. That is Wahhabism, that is the jihadi politics, that justifies killing the opponent it could be political opponent, it could be religious opponent or the different faith, killing them in the name of religion. So Bangladesh genocide was committed basically in the name of Islam. The Pakistani army and the local collaborators like Jamaat Islami, they killed three million people, they raped quarter million women, forced 10 million people to leave Bangladesh. All have been happened to protect Islam and Pakistan. That was their argument, that was their, you know, reason. They said that in order to keep Pakistan united or to protect Islam, we have to kill those people whom they considered anti-Islam. Well, there are many, many Muslims, you know, millions of Muslims have been killed. Mm -hmm. It was not only Hindus or other faith. But again, you know, this kind of, you know, political Islam that is derived from Saudi Arabia, which is known as Wahhabism, in South Asia, it is known as Maududism, as Jamaat Islami which was founded by Abu Lala Maududi. They justified such killing in the name of religion. And that's why, you know, the leaders who led the liberation war, they adopted secularism as one of the major principles. And when we had our constitution in 1972, it was considered as a magnificent constitution mm -hmm. because for the first time, one country is, you know, in, not only s s ensuring secularism as a s basic principle, mm -hmm. as well as to protect secular values that prohibited formation of political parties or any organization on the basis of religion. And since then, Jamaat Islami, Muslim League, Nizam Islami, they t those are banned in Bangladesh. And same thing happened in Second World War also. While those, you know, trial uh, was going on for this, you know, Nazi war criminals, mm -hmm. there we have seen the, those who initiated this trial, the allied forces, they tried individuals as well as the organizations. Nazi party was on the dock because it is the Nazi philosophy that justified killing of the Jewish people, mm -hmm. which is known as Holocaust. So this Maulana Maududi, he got inspiration for the, from this Holocaust. And he was very much opposed to democracy. He was a very much, he was supporter of Nazism and fascism. At that time when Jamaat Islami was formed in 1941, mm -hmm. that was the period of Second World War. And he praised Hitler and Mussolini like anything. He <coughs> considered them as the ideal principle, ideal of Jamaat, ideal of Jamaat Islami. So Jamaat Islami, Maududi got inspiration from the Holocaust of Second World War from Hitler and Mussolini. And those 
people, you know, Mussolini and Hitler, both were on the dock after the Second World War when the trial started. But unfortunately, we have our government has started trial of the war criminals. They are trying some individuals, but they are not trying the organizations. There is a problem for U.S. from U.S. government also because U.S. government always considers jamaat e islami as a moderate Islamic party. Mm -hmm. But we have written thousands of articles. There are thousands of you know, evidences about their link with Islamic militancy, how jamaat e islami is linked with Taliban and Al-Qaeda. I have examined in a couple of movies, you know, I made Portrait of Jihad, I made Jihad Without Border, now I am making you know, Ultimate Jihad, a trilogy on Jihad. There I have shown how jamaat e islami in Pakistan and Bangladesh, they are linked with Taliban and Al-Qaeda, how they are linked with the destruction of that is that incident of 9-11. But if you consider jamaat islami as a moderate Islamic democratic party, it will be difficult for us to try jamaat islami for perpetrating genocide in Bangladesh. So I think there is a need to change the views of U.S. government. Mm -hmm. And you must tell them, you are the citizen of this country, you are the taxpayer of this country, that your government, the U.S. government, is considering Jama al Islam in Indonesia as a terrorist organization. And that is, you know, on the terror list. Mm -hmm. And Jama al Islam in Indonesia or Muslim Brotherhood in Egypt and Jamaat Islam in South Asia, they are following the same principles, same ideology, same politics. That is Maududism, that is Wahhabism. So if you want to, if you mean business, if you want an you know, logical conclusion of war on terror, and if you want to eliminate this terror problematic, mm -hmm. you have to take action against the godfather of this terrorist. You are taking action against some individual Al-Qaeda's or Taliban's. But what about the godfather of Taliban and Al-Qaeda? In Pakistan, mm -hmm. it is Jamaat Islami, in the Pakistan Army, the ISI, the Pakistan mm -hmm. Intelligence. And they are very much linked with Bangladeshi Jamaat Islami. In my film, I have examined how Bangladeshi Jamaat Islami is linked with Pakistani Jamaat Islami, how Bangladeshi Jamaat Islami is linked with Pakistan Army and ISI. That relation has started from 1971. Thank you so much, Mr. Kabir, Mr. Rahman for your informative presentation today. Viewers, that's all the time we have for this week's program. We'll be back next time, next week with another program. Until then, I'm your host Priya, saying goodbye, stay well.